<laughs> we love you. Uh, uh, uh. Love. Fuck yeah. Get you one. Yeah. I'm smoking out of the day pot. Looks like a dog, a dog dick with the red. Boop, boop. Yeah, this is what we do. We go live at 420. Or 420 is if we're already smoking weed. Sometimes we'll be sitting up here in the shop in the suburb dick. Suburb dicks. Suburb dicks are here. Oh, yeah, let's give them a little bit more. Yeah, sometimes we'll be sitting up here in the shop, smoking before the show starts, drinking before the show starts. And uh, then you look down, you go, oh, shit. It's time to start. It's Friday. God dang it, it is. When we're live, it's Nine, two, three, nine, twenty-three, Friday. What happened to you, sober dicks? Where are you going, motherfucker? Can't just like look. He needs you. God damn it. Sometimes one of them just walks off. <laughs> oh, I gotta go. I ordered food. <laughs> Listen. We got shit to talk about. We got Zoomers to go to. If you want to be on the show with me live, if you go down to the description of this video, uh, you can find the link to get in the Zoom. And then you join the show. And then you're right here on this TV. Okay? That's how I'm going to get producer Mike in just a second. Okay? Yeah, sober dicks. I went islandy today. You feeling it? Uh. Uh. <laughs> All right. Let's get a fucking Mike. Can we get Mike? Because, I mean, he does a lot more. You guys are fucking work. Uh, let's get producer Mike up in on the show on a Friday. That way he can bring you guys in also. Let's give it up, ladies and gentlemen. Producer Mike. Hey, hey, what's up? Uh-oh. I had a rough day, man. Had a rough day. Oh. Yeah, I I feel okay because it's 420 it's Central Time, and that always brings me a lot mm. of lot of joy. But, um, I mean, yeah. Should I, I turn off the island music? Because, I mean, no, I have no, island music going No, it's in. helpful. It was helpful. You I seem appreciate it very much. Yeah, it was nice. On islandy right now. I should be okay because I've got my. Um, you have a fucking hot toddy. Yeah, I did. I had one. Uh, well, it was Theraflu. But why don't you pour a little bit of fucking mom's whiskey up in that motherfucker? I don't have. How that, do you wait. have a cold already? We just barely. I yeah, mean, I was putting on island music because the summer is still in me, and you're going to already to full fucking winter. Fucking you got blankets fall. on. Just turned, I think you it's live today, in right? Vegas, motherfucker. You got blankets and hoodies I, and well, beans. I I'm glad I went to IKnowMyRights.com and bought this sweet ass. I got shit to do sweatshirt because it's Good keeping point. me pretty fucking warm. I've got the I got shit to do beanie on, which is keeping my ears warm. The problem yeah. is, is I'm sweating, but it's a cold sweat, you know. You can so sweat anyway, out a sweat, and I know my rights gear. Right, but the Theraflu. Sweat out cold. I'm I've I ahead. had two Theraflus, man. I had one when I got up. I had one just a little while ago. That's not doing shit. So I took 50 oh. milligrams of this uh, oh. at the top Whoa. of the hour. Wait, hang on. Let me get a good look at this. S'mores bar. Yeah. Oh, that's a weed. That has a incre that's a hundred milligrams of THC. Okay. That's yeah, I one. took I took fifty at the top of the hour, so it was about half an hour ago. I don't really feel anything yet, but I got the other five here, so I'm just gonna eat these while the show's going on. Oh, okay. Um, and I expect Did you wanna, to be 
that, mm -hmm. were you, did you want to be here? Because I feel like if you eat the rest of that, you might go away. Well, you know what happened? <clears throat> I tried calling out sick to you, but the fucking voicemail box was full. Was there like a shit ton of voicemails that were left oh, or something? Because yeah. <laughs> it kept saying that the voicemail I box I got was... voicemails. I fucking tried to call out, but whatever. Listen, producer Mike is no bullshit. We have a phone number. I don't say it all the time. It's not an 800 call. number. It's not, this is not that type it's of It's close enough. It's yeah. my Louisiana number where we started this podcast. That's the area code, 225-800. See, there is a, a little bit of an 800. Ah, uh, so it is an 800 number. It's in the middle. Just like a peanut place. butter and jelly sandwich. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, eat some more chocolate. No, oh, I didn't go. Uh, 225-800-31. Seven five. That is the number. And I have phone calls, producer Mike. This is Savannah from North Louisiana. Savannah. Fuck yeah, Steve. You're awesome. I'm from North Louisiana. And you know how it is around here. We like to drink. So I want to give you a toast and a cheers. And you're a cool cheers. ass motherfucker. You're a cool so you ass. Have a good day. You're a cool and ass. And hopefully I'll hear this on the podcast. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, really Savannah, I hope you did hear that on the podcast from North Louisiana. You're a cool-ass motherfucker. She's got a stripper name. Savannah. Oh, yeah. It's hot. I had butt sex with a girl in Savannah one time. Anyway, this calls from <laughs> the legendary Buckland. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> Let's get friends about this shit, y'all. This is Buckland, lighter thief in the house. See you, Steve. Why does he? <laughs> that was it? I mean, <laughs> producer Mike, I mean, he's already on the show all the time. I mean. <laughs> he felt the need he wanted to call, too. Well, I mean, know? it's only about an hour a week now, Steve. Okay, I mean, so... is he? Oh, he'll probably be on today. Okay. Yeah, he's on his way home from work. Oh, no, he's in there. Oh, yeah, okay, he's here. look, this guy's from Worthington, Minnesota. Is it Chad? Hey, Steve, me and my lady, we love your shit, dude. Keep it up. Yeah. It's hilarious on the lawnmower, though, man. Thank you. They love your shit? Did you send them shit in a box or something? I might have accidentally sent my Cola Guard uh, oh. sample to that guy. I don't know. Sorry, Worthington, Minnesota. Uh, Wenatchee, Washington, all the way on the west area. side of U.S., all the way over there on the edge where they allowed you to get high. I think you can get high on mushrooms in Washington. Is that right? Uh, uh, oh, God. You Let's listen you can to get this high state. I know my rights. Yeah. <laughs> Me too, man. Oh, that's it. That was it, huh? I right. know my rights. Oh, that's nice. I could all, I could play it's, that whenever I want to. That's it's not short, even fun. Yeah. It, it's short, and it, it, it really explains it all, does it not? And then, wait, let's go back to Z Savannah, if I could, because it yeah. just occurred to me. That's a girl, and I noticed she, did you hear her giggle at the end? Yeah, she was having a fun time. <clears throat> I kind of got a little bit of, hang on. Fuck yeah, Steve, you're awesome. I'm from North Louisiana, and you know how it is around here. We like to drink, so I want to give you a toast and a cheers, and you're a cool-ass motherfucker. So you have a good day, and hopefully I'll hear this on the podcast. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, see? That was a very funny goodbye. See oh. that giggle at the end? Yeah. That little... <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my, I'm at fucking half mast. <laughs> it's early for that, no? But we don't ever have girls call. All right, let's I check. Know. This is it's the last so... one from New York. Uh, and it's another girl, too, the dicks say. Okay. Hey, Steve. Me and my husband, we absolutely love you. My husband watches you all the time. If you could, just give him a shout-out. Anthony Hawthorne. Anthony Hawthorne, shout out to you, motherfucker. I hope you're hearing this. 
sounds like that's, I think his full name probably, just because it sounds like it's Senator Anthony hey, Hawthorne, no? Grandma, I absolutely, absolutely love you. My husband watches you all the time. Mm. If you could, just give him a shout out, Anthony Hawthorne. Anthony Hawthorne. Yeah, he's Anthony Hawthorne, yeah, that's a congressman's name. I bet you he's a congressman. Okay. Well, those are the voicemails that I have today. Um, I'm pretty pumped. What's that phone number again? I want to write that down. That went amazing. 225-800-3175. If you don't want to be on the show visually like our next guest will be. Live <laughs> on a Friday via the Zoom Zooms. You can call. You can call when we're not live. You can call fucked up or, you know, when you're on the shitter and you got something on your mind. You can be political or talk about things you like or don't like. We don't give a shit. Just give us a 225-800-3175. Ring a ding, ding, ding. I like it. All right. Listen, uh, I want to let uh, you know this, Producer Mike, before we go any further. Mm -hmm. This happened this week. I got an email. I uh, Okay, so last Friday, a week ago. Okay. Uh, before or after the show? See, now, we're live on YouTube right now, and like last Friday, we were live at 420. But on Facebook, we are not live. And maybe we can figure that out. That's a whole different story for another day. But until then, we put up videos over on Facebook while we're live over here. Oh, and okay. so last Friday, I put up a video of the time I got the security camera footage back. I'm friends with the manager. And after some time went by, I was able to throw him a few dollars. And, hey, why don't you give me a fucking copy of that, motherfucker? Okay, grease him a little bit. Yep. Grease him up. And he gave me a copy of the time that I got ejected from a tit this titty bar that I used to go to. Oh, dude, and this so is I, gold. I this is going to be gold stuff, huh? Well, I put it up last Friday on Facebook, and yeah. um, maybe arguably faster than anything we've put up on Facebook in years. Fast. It went to 5 million views in a matter of a couple of days. Man, they just love it. The masses love it when you yeah. get arrested. It's fucking unbelievable. I didn't like it because I had ordered taquitos, and I really planned on eating those. <laughs> Motherfucker. Strip club, strip club taquitos, man. Taquitos at this place were good, man. They made them mm. crispy and they brought out ranch without you asking ranch. A lot of times oh, they'll bring out so sour fancy, cream with taquitos. Okay. Motherfucker, I ain't dipping these in sour cream. Strip club. <laughs> <obviously> <laughs> I made ranch there. with my taquitos. Don't be uh dumb. There you go. Um, I like and I even paid for them up front. I mean, what the fuck? Anyway, Is there a cover charge, cover charge. Yeah, yeah. I pay for the tickets. Um, I had a shot you. on the way. Anyway, this uh, hooker that was dancing, I'd seen her in there before. She liked to get all fucked up. And this night she was tossed out of her mind and she'd been doing shots. That's why I had more shots on the way is because she was like, shot, 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 shot. I was like, yeah, bitch. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, round of shots on Jessup. And I had fresh tequitos on the way coming, so I had some something to soak it up. Tequitos! <laughs> And uh, <laughs> this Don't bitch you? threw the fuck up on me <laughs> and then passed out on my chest. Um, <laughs> that video is actually right on my YouTube channel right now. And here's the thing. Let me get to the point. Facebook, 5 million views in a couple of days. They demonetized me and removed like all my ability to earn 
any money off of these videos like money. the podcast and stuff like that. Fucking money. They said that fuck, I fuck, violated. Fuck. fuck! They said I violated um, FB meta policies. Well, I think they violated your rights. And, um, I mean, it's a little different than the Constitution. So, at Facebook, I really don't know my rights. We need to figure out what those rights are because you're getting onto something here. At least I think you're getting onto something here that 5 million views. I mean, you're getting the message out. Why can't these oh, motherfuckers yeah. be supportive? Lots of new people were coming to hang out yeah. and check out the podcast clips and all that stuff because that video was getting passed around the world like lightning in a bottle. And so all these new people were showing up going, oh, fuck, I like your podcast. So there's a pretty good chance either watching live today or listening when we drop the audio of these shows on Tuesday mornings at 420. There's a lot of new people because of this video. But then they took it down. Wow. And here's another kicker. Not Did only you say cunt? Did you say cunt? Was that the problem? No, I don't think so. Okay. But here's another kicker is that when I put that video up, they have a new feature on, on Facebook that'll show you how many times people copied it. And uploaded it on their web page. And I want to say, I stopped counting at about 30. Okay. Um, so there's about 30 copies of that video that are still up. And making money for other people. But my version that had 5 million views that was earning me a few dollars to smoke and drank on Fridays with you. They took it down. They said, fuck you, Steve. You violated our policies. Did they even at least tell you what You policies? violated. I feel like I just got yelled at by a minister or the preacher or but isn't it easy, Mark easy Zuckerberg in a weird it? way. Can't you just fix it? What the fuck? Why can't you just fix it? Well, you can't talk to nobody. Which Mark is kind of good and bad when you work for these streaming platforms like YouTube and Facebook and all that. Um, on one hand, yeah, you can't get a hold of nobody, and that's well, upsetting. That's but they also can't get a hold of you, and they cannot yell at you like a regular boss. They can't just swing by your office and be like, hey, dick face. Sure, they just take your fucking money. Yeah, that's it. They just turn off the faucet. But, and it, it's, uh, get this, producer Mike. It's not just that one video that was demonetized. They demonetized my entire Facebook. Anything that goes over my Facebook is no longer allowed to make money. It's like I'm in Facebook jail. Do and it said for 90 days because of my violation. Okay, so you do know what the violation was? It oh, said, yeah, the, the stripper video. It just said just the fact that a stripper was in it? It was against Facebook's policies. You can't show strippers vomiting yeah. on you. And the funny thing was they fucked me out of the gate because when I uploaded it, I thought, well, people will need to see this. And they've some seen it before. It's been up like it's already up on YouTube. The music in the background is by Bon Jovi. And so immediately uh, they came along and said, you're not making yeah, you one red fucking cent off of <laughs> the time you got dragged out of that strip club because you got Bon Jovi. It's all going to BJ. Can't do it. BJ's yeah. going to make this fucking cash, not you, Steve Jessup. And then a day later, when the video was just on literal hot white hot fire five million views in like two fucking days they went you know what fuck the whole thing you violated our policies 90 fucking days that's fucked and then they said steve you know what not only <laughs> fuck you but fuck you but don't put anything else up because they ain't gonna make a fucking dollar off of it oh. Suck well, it's, help. it's friday in 420 though I mean. douchebag you're an 
idiot. Oh, fuck it. Well, that's it. why you got to have your shit on multiple things. I mean, people are yeah. always like, why do you put stuff on Facebook and then and YouTube, but you're live, and then on Instagram you do this? Because you never know when this kind of bullshit's going to happen. But I can tell you what, we're still fucking live on YouTube on a Woo! Friday. Yeah. They can't fuck with us here. Now, do we have any proof of the matter that we are live? Are there any Zoomers that are in the yes, wings we waiting? Yes, we do. We're going to lead off with our all-star number four hitter, oh, Jeremy yeah. Buckley. Jeremy Buckley. And uh, upstairs in the fucking badass CIA underground bunker. What's up, Steve? We have a dual video of you on the lawnmower. It looks like you're cutting a fucking field because the grass is so high. Do you see this? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, what is going on there? I mean, are you cutting that? Yeah, I got a little fucked up. <laughs> now, listen, it looks like either your dick is hard as hell or you've got a gun right about where your dick is. Both. <laughs> your dick's got your, uh, he's got your 12 o'clock, huh? Oh. Well, you know, as a firearms want to be I look for these kind of things and do you see what I'm talking about producer Mike you see the bulge yeah yeah and and, I think and we know his penis is not that big oh. <laughs> it's, uh, it could be a nine millimeter Beretta I think that's what the government uh, GIs carry it's probably yeah it's probably well it could be like mine because a lot of government issues SIGs but also, you're probably just trying to prepare for that snake that's about to come out of that fucking grass behind you and eat your <laughs> neck. That's exactly right. And it's a it's a nine millimeter Ruger. Ruger. Oh, okay. Of course. Yeah, buddy. Oh, man, it's good to see you buckling on a Friday. How are you? Did you see I got this fucking day pipe? Yeah. You doing good, man? Let's think about it. Yeah, let's, uh, let's breathe deep the gathering. Breathe below, deep Buckland. together and think about buckling. <laughs> Just taking it. Buckling, did you lose audio? Oh, we lost us. I can't. Oh, he's on mute again. That's oh, we lost you for just a second. We're gonna figure is. it out. Anyway, the day pipe is uh, it's so awesome. It's got all these chambers. I've showed this before. This is from Hamilton Devices. We still have I, all my toys are on the other side of the shop, but I've got this one. <laughs> Producer Mark, I've been carrying this around a lot. Are you back with us, Buckland? Yeah. Buckland, I was just talking about this thing. It's called the day pipe. And it's this very, very highly manufactured. Um, God, I don't know if this is stainless steel, probably. Anyway, it's two tubes together. And you've got all these chambers, hidden chambers, eight. And all day long, you've got fresh weed. So, like, right now, that one I smoke, so I spin it around. Smoke again, and it kind of feels like a big cigar to me. Uh, the red tip makes me laugh because it looks like a dog. Hi, dick. Jennifer! Jennifer! CIA operative wife. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh, Look at this. We may Jeremy's be joined. Jeremy's got a co-host. 
Ah. Oh. <laughs> Jennifer, you would love this. This here. I love what you had last time. That's awesome. Oh, well, there's something in the mail for you. Yes, I already got it. It's not in the mail no more. It's in my living room. Woo ah. Thank you. Okay, well, good. I'm glad. You'll have fun with that. This thing is also from Hamilton Devices, the same company that we uh, had that other thing last week that we gave to you guys. I don't even remember. It's so cool. It's a big old kit. But this is called a day pipe, and it's got all these chambers. Right? So it's got eight spots so it's got four on one level um i wanted to put this up for the people to see yeah four on one level and then you pull it out and then another four isn't that badass it is yeah the badass that people are just sending you that stuff too right well i mean we're talking about it and I mean, tens on top of tens of people are seeing it. <laughs> and uh, if they go to HamiltonDevices.com, is that right, Producer Mike? Right. You have to use And then the, they use uh, the code. Right. They can get 10% off their entire order, and you can't get that hook up anywhere else. No, you're boosting their sales to 100%, I'm sure. So, you know, they hooked us up, and we're hooking them up too jennifer but you get hooked, more right? importantly i'm so glad you got that but like what are you guys gonna get into now that it's cooling off everywhere do you have well, my work weather is slowing plans? Down. what my work is slowing down so i guess i'll find something to do in the winter and oh, then go back next time smoke more weed <laughs> She, she's gonna, a seasonal job. She's gonna keep my fucking wood stove fucking cranking this winter. That's what she's gonna do. Yeah, oh, cut hot. some wood, damn it. Very important. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. So you kind of seasonal. Um, maybe you can help Jeremy with some of his CIA documents. Um, he won't let me in on none of that information. It's all classified. I know. He, he will go. not let us. I'd rather us... not be. Yeah. We can't see anything. Hmm. Not even his penis gun. I don't, wouldn't want to know. Nine millimeters, <laughs> from what I understand. Yeah, we heard, we heard that he's <laughs> been shooting blanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Yes, I don't need... Any yeah. more children around here? Yeah, that's we're not good. a very good influence. No more liner thieves. Mm. <laughs> I love that story. Oh, that wait. experiment uh, uh, wrong. Jennifer, look what happens when you're not keeping up with your man. I try my best. Uh, you, oh, you would like to help? I need to. about this shit, y'all. See, <laughs> Bob Auckland, liner thief in the house. See you, Steve. <laughs> These, that was bad. my voicemail, Jennifer. <laughs> really? Yeah, you want to hear it again? <laughs> Maybe you... I have more going on than I thought. Wait, hang on. Let me play it again so, since you didn't know what it was. This is, uh, so I have a phone number, 225-800-3175, and anybody can call in when they're partying late night or in the morning when they're hungover, complain. Uh, you know, when they're in the car, Put on give me a dial. ring. But Buckland does it when you're not looking. Check this out. <laughs> Let's get serious about this shit, y'all. <laughs> this is Buckland, <laughs> lighter and thief in the house. See you, Steve. Yeah, so lighter thief in the house means one of those kids was running around. That was what we was talking about. Yeah, one of them kids just left. Oh, Woo. freedom! Yeah. yeah. They don't live with me no more. Did my thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. My babies. Oh, man, you got the weekend to yourself. Good to see you, Jennifer. Good to see you, Buckland. 
Um, producer Mike, is uh, are they our only guest on a Friday? That is not true. We are also graced by. We're live, y'all. Ay 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 ay. Four twenty on a Friday, September twenty three, twenty two. Talking to Buckland and his lady Jennifer. Uh, yeah, now we got the one and only Wheelchair Rick. Look what I got, Wheelchair Rick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you like those? You like those? Man, you know what? First off, let me apologize. Because I missed all last stream, and as soon as I kicked that son of a bitch on and I seen that beautiful shirt you had on, Steve, I done lost my shit twice. Oh, man. That I was looks so sad. good. Yeah, that's what I was going to tell you. Um, Tears of joy, huh, man? Tears of Wheelchair yeah. Yeah, Rick, one of our regulars, sent me a T-shirt. So I have, sorry, I'm high. This is something you can get from me. And he has T-shirts that you can get from him. And... A lot of us, for like, if you heard my rant at the beginning of the show, we deal with things like Facebook. Just going, hey, man, you can't put up a stripper or you did this or that. And they just turn off the money. And then a lot of the regular watchers think, oh, man, Steve must be making a fortune. And they don't know when that shit goes down. But how you can support, no doubt, no doubt, is with the merchandise all mine goes directly to me and wheelchair rick is no different he's got a t-shirt with this Ooh. logo on it this is yes, badass sir. you see that i'm trying to get it where they can see it good um i'm not wearing the shirt today i did have it on before but it's a wheelchair and you're shooting a uzi <laughs> that's a that's a tommy gun steve a tommy gun yeah old school that's gun. a topson so I had that on uh, at the bank the other day. Oh shit! Here we go. And um, I'm sure that went well. Yeah, they were asking questions. Oh, it's all right. Just tell them it's a nonprofit organization. I didn't know. Well, I w they were like, "What's this about?" I'm like, "I." It's. Okay, here's what you tell them, Wheelchair Steve. Wheelchair Rick, and they're like, this, who the fuck? And I'm like, no, he's yeah. my friend. They don't know that. And I'm this like, is what you got to tell them. If you can't, then, if you can't. Wait, Rick, wait, wait, I got this is good shit. This is good. Oh, shit, okay, go ahead. Yeah, I, t I already ca I called producer Mike right after it happened. I got hostile. And you oh, can't shit. you can't raise your voice at the bank or, like, airport security or anything like that. <sighs> And they're like, "Who's that?" And and I got, I read, I got, I got, I went up an octave, mm -hmm. and I was like, "This, this is my friend. I like to smoke weed with and get fucked up with on Friday night." Okay, I want to make a it. deposit. And, I, and then yeah, so I got tackled in that shirt, but I don't oh, have shit. sleeves on it, so kind of give you a little rug arm burn. Well, I mean, it was already torn up. So I'm oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, for the time being that I did see you wearing it, it was a beautiful, it was a beautiful, uh, you know, addition to your aura, I Steve. I still it have looked it. real good. And I, I'll tell you this, Steve. I saved it. Uh, it's evidence. This is kind of what I tell people when they ask me, well, what's this about? What is this? And I said, well, you know, when I was laying in the hospital and I got out, I was always wondering, you know, who to look up to. What do I do? And if you can't walk tall and carry a big stick, damn it, roll fast and carry a Tommy gun. That's kind of the way I look at life, you know what I mean? Like, you can't just sit there and sleep the day away saying, oh, woe was me. Nobody's ever going to be my friend or help me out. You got to get up and do that shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I guess. I mean, it depends on how good your weed is. I mean, sometimes mm. you don't want to get up. These days, I heard Michigan's pushing some pretty good weed nowadays, better than Cali yeah, shit. That's what I got in my pipe. See? See? Oh, I went another thing I was going to say is one of the reasons I missed that show, Steve, is I was actually, I took my van. I call her Sassy. What? She's a 2019 uh, Chrysler Pacifica Sports Edition that is a handicap conversion. It's a long title, but it's a rare thing. Um, Our truck looks fast. 
dude it's it's a van it's a minivan that has been converted to a handicap vehicle that's a sports the edition it's got about like racing. 300 horsepower to it it's about 290 huh. roughly yeah it's, do you have any pictures of the engine producer mike no, no this is not just the none of those. sweet sweet fucking wax job that he did yeah the tires look look glistening well so my my story is as i've I've never, uh, I grew up around car shows, Steve, like classic yeah. car shows, you know, my granddad used to hold them and, you know, do stuff. And I've always been around. He used to have an old car. He sold his old car when I was 17. And after that, I've never been, had one in my family. So I'm like, well, I mean, how am I going to get into these damn shows? You know, I want to go do, back to a show. So Friday I said, you know what? They had a show locally where I live at. I said, I'm taking the damn van down there and I'm going to clean her up. I'm going to open her up. Put the tilt mode on, let her lean out, let the ramp come out, yeah. and let people see this damn thing. And I tell you what, I was parked next to two old Mustangs, and this van got yeah. more attention than those Mustangs did. And I was, I was amazed. I was Something like, this is different. awesome. Yeah, exactly. That's a lot of what the people said. They were like, man, they're not used to seeing the new stuff. They're all every all these old guys are used to seeing the old stuff. You know what I mean? But when they come and they see and something new, yours like this, has a ramp. Yeah, like, and there's no seat in there. It's just like empty, so you can walk all up in it. I didn't have now, any pictures. Now, so of the that interior, back but... door sealed shut. No, they both open. Uh, the back doors they slide, so they just open and slide. Then the, on the other side, I have the ramp that opens, uh, and it actually comes out of the floor, so it doesn't like fold out, but it comes out from under the floor. It's pretty sweet. And so you drive up in there. Oh yeah, yeah. My wheelchair locks in the the driver's seat. So the and then the passenger seat. How? If, like say. Like how uh, do well, you know it's locked in good? Have you ever had an incident where that lock wasn't holding and you hit the gas and roll the fuck back? <laughs> well, they got this thing called the Easy Lock system in there to where when you when you hit that damn thing, it locks and it's a it's a green light. It's either green, yellow, or red. If it's red, it'll beep at you when you turn that damn thing on. It sounds like like some kind of weird fire alarm it's super loud has it ever failed you though not once no my biggest fear is if i get in there and we get into a wreck that damn thing ain't gonna open and let me out you know what i mean that would suck are you belted in to your chair no i usually don't stay belted into my chair only because of that like i have fears of like if something does happen that like my belt is gonna hold me to my to chair you know what i mean um, as long as you got the seatbelt in the car. So there's one in the car too that you How can put on when you're work? driving. Um, it, it's bolted to the floor and you just bring the regular belt up and then you bring the clinker and you just clink it in there. And it's supposed to hold you and your chair? No, the chair is locked firmly to the floor with the easy lock. So like, let's say like this is the easy lock, right? This is my chair when it comes in the bolt yeah. and it goes... Oh, right in there, and it uh, locks. Like you know what I'm saying? Vagina, yep. penis just gets right in there. Vagina. They got a pretty good relationship. <laughs> Holds on to it pretty well. <sighs> yeah, Steve, I said, you know what? I said, let's go to the car show. We had a great time. I handed out a bunch of stickers. Tonight was actually the last car show of the season of my hometown, and I says, nope, fucking Steve wore my shirt. I'm going on tonight. Fuck that yeah. car show. I'll go I'm to the next I'm glad you joined year. us live. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. We are, we, yeah, we're here. We got the fucking Zooms wide open. We played some voicemails. I complained. I don't know if you saw this. Man, you know what I did see? Fuck Facebook. Those yeah. fucking, those alien people, man, I'm telling and you. And I'm on Facebook, so I got to be careful, because they'll fuck down. me next. Watch. Yeah, they just took it down. I've yeah. never had them do that. They just, you just open it back up, and it's gone. No warning or nothing. Uh, it was just like. Yeah. Yeah. So Where we haven't goes, posted bud? anything, me and the sober D's. We haven't posted anything since the incident. Uh no? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I need to open another beer on that. That's like I was saying before. You got to be on all of the platforms because we can still go live on YouTube. You should get on Rumble too, bro. I heard that Rumble stuff's really Maybe rumbling. Maybe that's what we need to do is turn mm -hmm. it up on, like, like I mean, we always have said, Producer Mike, why can't this feed go to more places? There you mm -hmm. go. Yeah. I've heard stories about Rumble uh, myself. Maybe we should research that. Yeah, I'm actually going to do that myself, uh, too. I, and I, we just learned about Twitch, too, so I'm going to be on Twitch. But I heard that's really not even that, that much better. 
<laughs> yeah, that's that's what they used to call me back in high school. <laughs> oh my god, wheelchair Rick, I'm so tossed from my fucking day pipe. I don't know if a day pipe is good for me because I can't control myself. You I never mean, know, man. Those things are tricky. Like, you got to be careful. It's like when you were young and you would get your your lunch sack, right, for the day. It's supposed to last you for the day, and you're going to eat at lunch. And right. Then a lot of times what you would do is eat some of it on the bus on the way there, and then it's... And then mm -hmm. some of it after you get there, and then by the time lunch comes, you got just it's a gone. little bit left. And <laughs> a couple of cookies. You're or fucking hungry. Chips. Yep. Mm. Yep. So, I mean, that's how I am with drugs and alcohol and lunch bags, is I want it all. Yeah. Right now, <laughs> all of it. All of it in my holes right now. I'm working on a new song from that. It's called All like of it. it in My Holes. I like it. Producer Mike got upset when uh, old Maryfield comes around, I don't know, whatever it was, a month or so ago, when mm -hmm. he called us from the airport. and he, Producer Mike got jealous because he was like, Oh no! You don't sing around me enough. Like he said it in a real, <laughs> very no. homosexual way. Like no, no, that it, it wasn't that he didn't sing around me enough. To it you. was that he sang around me out of tune. No. too much. No. Oh, I mm. was just looking for a song that was in tune. Your voice is beautiful, like an but angel. Did you hear that last song that I just wrote? Yeah, yeah. I'm sitting here in awe. I'm. I'm Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of everybody, thank you. Yeah, that was beautiful. Hit him with that, baby. Lock the door and turn the noise down. Baby, like that. I don't like that go. one. Um, nope. You can write better. Oh, my God. But what I'm trying to say, fuck both of you and your assholes. Son of a bitch. What I'm trying to what? <laughs> My what I'm God. trying to say is, I've got eight <laughs> bowls. This is called the day pipe. It's supposed to last me all day. And, I mean, if I was a normal, non-asshole. Uh, <laughs> You're an idiot, asshole. I wouldn't smoke through it all at once. Nope. Man, because I just keep turning it, wheelchair shit. Rick. I keep turning it, and I see fresh green, and I go, there you go. I feel like it's like more of an oral fixation as well. You know what I mean? What the fuck? You know What's what that, that got is, to right? do you, with oh, my an oral mom? Fixation. What's that got to do with my mama? Uh, no, it's 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 okay, bud. I don't like you. You're bringing she up titties, it as well. and this is enough. Oh. Hey, buddy. What's up, Dixon Hill? Yeah, I see why we haven't had Wheelchair Rick on in a while. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. You're an idiot. All right, let's switch it up. We're going to go to the one and only. Ladies and gentlemen. You're going to make me come. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What's going on, Steve? What's going on? We Look. wheelchair Rick, producer Mike. What's up, dude? Apparently, uh, producer Mike has named you uh, our weed science reporter. That's supposed to be Lando. Shit. What the <laughs> fuck is this? This is just an old background I kept. Uh, it shows uh, it shows Jay from his vacation in uh, Puerto Rico, but I just gave him uh, a great set of tits, so I thought I'd bring uh, it up. Okay, again. Yep. I see. It I looks see. good. It looks yeah. good. I like it. You do look hot. Um, Jay, <laughs> did you see that I was smoking out of this thing? That's called the day pipe. It's so badass. It looks like a silver so cigar. Producer Mike, can you, can you spotlight his uh, screen for me so I can see it? Cigar holder. Uh, okay, there we go. 
Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. That's, I didn't see you hit that. You should hit that. Oh, man. So it has this hole, and then it has... Let me take it apart for you, because you'll appreciate this. I don't think all my weed will fall out, but... Yeah, you load it up at the beginning of the day. Uh-oh. That was ash. Never mind. Spent <laughs> cartridge. <laughs> They're uh, not that big, so in the way you take pulls on it, man, you probably... Oh, yeah, I can kill it in one, but see? You see all the cartridges? How many you have in there? Two? Eight. There's eight cartridges in there? Yeah, and then... Let me see. That goes back like that. And then you pull it back like a gun. <laughs> and then you put the tip back on it. And then it's got this little opening right here. And you just rotate it until you get a freshie. I mean, I just had one a second ago, but I'm ready again. And that's Do what that. I was just saying to everybody before you joined the podcast is that um, this is supposed to last me all day, but... It only lasts you for an hour. I can't stop <laughs> hitting it, Jay. <laughs> I got my uh, my vape in from Ham Hamilton Devices that you sent me, and uh, I haven't been able to go and get myself some cartridges. I gotta go <laughs> tomorrow and go pick up some. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, Hell yeah, yeah. I oh my god, yeah. It's like a torpedo, bro. Oh, it looks like I have a dog dick tip in my mouth. <laughs> oh, red lipstick. Mm. No, officer, I was just getting dressed. I'm transitioning <laughs> into a man who wears lipstick. <laughs> you know what? That, that reminds me of uh, Austin Powers' Dirty Bastard when he gets that shoved up his ass. Well, this one's getting demonetized. That's going to get copyrighted. <clears throat> oh, what? Oh, shit. What? Thanks, Jay. Oh, man. Uh, I ruined everything, don't I? Uh, shit. <laughs> actually, uh, that was a thing. I stopped making money on YouTube videos a long time ago. They still let me go on the platform. But nothing I put up is monetized because of okay, shit like shit. this <laughs> and this and talk of <laughs> pussies and banging out assholes. Asshole. Yeah. And then you hit him with the goat. You hit him with the goat. Every once in a while, that'll get you Z Mom. Oh, yeah. I mean, That's a good point, Jay. YouTube has that turned into motherfucking church without a preacher. Or the nomination. <laughs> uh, Jay, m m m m what are you into this weekend? Well, uh, some reason, you know, fall hit yesterday, and now on New York, it's like 40, 40 degrees outside, you know. Mm -hmm. Pretty fucking cold in uh, TN, where I'm at. Yeah? Yeah, Tennessee got... Fucking chilly overnight. It was like 50 when I woke up. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, but that's the good weather to go have a big ass fire out there. And I'll, drink. I'll, I'll, I'll set your mom's house on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Aggressive. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, I probably took that one step too many. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I'll just okay. that, but, I uh, see you have your hair out today. Yeah. Yeah, I got the hair out today. Is that because of your new high tech job? No, I can wear my hair. It's right, I, I wear, you know, I wear my hair. You know. I mean, because like they probably like seeing that in the tech world. Yeah. Yeah, they like well, that they, in the tech world. They like, they like, you know they like mean, if you not. have a nose ring, right here. <laughs> And like a neck tattoo, like whatever you would get complained about at a regular job in the tech world. They're like, he's different. He's different. He's a technician. He he's okay with that oh, fucking world. We love your prison tattoo. Tattoo on the right yes. neck. You know? 
Got to have it in that old English lettering, and it says like "learn to code, bitch." Mm. I think that would be yeah, yeah, point. or 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 yeah. lock down or something like that. You know. Good point. Good point. My, I mean, learn to code or learn to cook. You know, it could be that <laughs> because like if your prison bitch is not making you good food every night, <laughs> like I mean, if you went to jail, would you? be giving the orders if you know what i'm saying or would you be receiving the orders nah i'd rather I, i'm gonna try it to the end to give the orders oh god jay's a top <laughs> <laughs> hey wash my fucking toilet inmate Go get me some crackers from the fucking commissary, bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then, oh, my God. I just, this is so upsetting. I'm seeing how Jay really can just be a, a, a male prison <laughs> bully. He's a great <laughs> prostitute, though. Look at that face. Yeah. But look at this. Um, the legendary Weber. I don't know. I mean, I think Weber would be on my side if I was in jail with him. I think we'd be teammates. What what team is that? Um, I don't know. Kick team kick ass. Yeah, I'm all about fighting. Yeah, well, that's, that's but you look really like you're chilling things. today. This is great. Normally on a Friday, you're rolling around in this tow truck. Uh, yep. The beach. Yeah, caught me just getting home. Bum towing oh, and recovery is. down there in Pensacola and Robertson, Alabama. Look at this. You, We got your number. It's right here on the side of your truck. 95076 zero three three six one okay so if y'all have any kind of issue if you're watching this show you can get eddie weber to come pick you up in this big ass and look you don't want anybody else coming to pick you up in one of those dumb ass little trucks with the little hook on the back you want yep. this fucking Race car driving, semi-truck, tr this thing is big. Okay, he can... Show him show him, him in a butterfly uh, He can pick you up. My producer, Mike. Yeah, sure. Oh, I don't have that one, Jack. Oh, Sorry. yeah. Ah, That's upsetting man. anyway. No one wants to see his butterfly. <laughs> Let's get him in here, ladies and gentlemen. It's Eddie Weber. He's a race car driver. How y'all doing today? I know my rights. Look, Weber, we're live on YouTube on a Friday. We're drinking. Hang on, I need to. Find... Oh, that's the empties. Hang on. <laughs> we're drinking. Yep, man, we just hanging. Front porch chilling today. I like that shirt. I hate pulling out because I really do. Oh yeah. Yeah, hey, and I mean, see, uh, just like Jennifer and Buckland were talking about before, you might make more lighter thieves. If you don't get that dick out of there. <laughs> God damn. Get it out. Pull it out. Get that dick up out your girl at the right time. Today's been full of new hits. That's going to be one of my new R&B singles. Get your dick up out the lady at the right time. That's gonna That's be, gonna the be one of the chart, or, yeah, chart toppers. It's gonna be a fucking hit. You don't know Weber. I mean, all you know about <laughs> is racing cars and dragging cars around by their stupid face and neck. <laughs> yeah. I got my ass whooped by an old lady last night. Oh, yeah? What, what was that all about? This I, this 70-something year old woman decided she was gonna make her own handicap placard. Hanging I up, like well, that. nevertheless, the bar, yeah, the bar called us to come tow the vehicle. This woman came out and went caddy wampus on my ass with her little walking cane, her purse, all that shit. She whipped my ass. 
Which I don't way? Know what to do. Old Mimo went off the rails. Which way is Caddy Wampus? Mimo whooped my ass. What is involved in a Caddy Wampus situation? <laughs> I'm just I saying, right I know what the fuck you're saying, but there are a lot of people who watch this in New Zealand. They don't well, know what Caddy Wampus means. A lot of left and a couple right. She was damn near close to coming her little walking cane up my ass. It wasn't <laughs> a good time. Was, was, so she comes at you all, all fucking down. Caddy Wampus. Yeah. And then what she do? She, she just went on home. She crawled inside her car and drove the hell off. Left me bleeding and shit. I didn't know what was going on. I got my ass whooped by me, mom. Why was you, um, uh, you was trying to take her car? Yeah, I got called to come tell her, Vic. She had made her own handicap sticker and hung right. it up. And the bar folks just thought that she was. But she didn't just drunk, let it go. Ass. She came out there and fought you. Bro, she whipped my ass. How old and it was she actually? About it. Oh, hell if I know, but she had to be late 60s, early 70s probably. I mean, she that's like, shit out of me. like uh, your age. <laughs> you know, oh, fuck, I feel that way. I feel that damn way. I look well, that bro, damn way. And that's my, that's of my age. So, well, now, can you, have you seen a better... Because a lot of people do this thing that you're saying where they get a fake handicap placard and fucking cheat. I mean, I've done it. Um, we've all done it. Yeah, but you use the right color and the right font. This woman, what, did she use a couple of crayons and some well, construction she, paper? She used a fucking a permanent marker and a piece of paper and oh, just okay. fucking hung uh, it around her damn Drew head. it. Yeah. Like, yeah. it was wrong shape, wrong size, wrong cut, wrong everything. But A for effort. I like her style. She was like, fuck this. I'm getting the front door parked today, bitch. <laughs> she damn sure did. Man, did you show wild. her your, um, you know, what your dick or your balls? I didn't. I didn't. <sighs> Maybe maybe things would have been different if I did. I mean, I feel what like she could have been... I mean, maybe it's not good business. Um, they probably don't have it in the uh, welcome yeah, I mean, manual. Yeah, that there's not really a dick and ball section in the handbook. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> there is not. I mean, you'd go to that what? section first, wouldn't you? I mean, if you knew that was in the book. <laughs> <laughs> Why but isn't I mean, like, there a dick and what balls? My sugar mama. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's this a good was old enough to know Bob Barker. Like, she, she could have been my sugar mama. <sighs> All right. Well, speaking of sugar mamas. <laughs> instead, she What's just up, sexy? Mom just the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd do about six or seven moves, maybe. You know? You smoke a little bit of what Lando's got over there, and well, you stick your pecker in anything. Eddie Weber, we help you welcome the uh, man from space, from the West Side, Lando. Smiling. What's happening? Okay, we're gonna go to the moon. Oh, I'm just I'm on top of the world today. Did you see that producer Mike ate a hundred milligram chocolate bar before he started the show? Can we go back? To you he on the split screen. More. Now, God. he complained of having a work day issue. Um, not wanting oh, to come in. Started. Yeah. Well, and we're going to find out if Incredible S'mores Bar. Um, wanting deals, the day off. Deals with possible COVID. I said it was Friday, motherfucker. <laughs> We're going live no matter what. And he goes, I got this. And I said, eat it. And so he just did it. Was that the last? That's it, man. I'm What's going to happen, Lando smiles, when these 100 milligrams start pacing through producer mics? Coursing through my veins. Um, I mean, he's okay so far, but we've been live for about an hour. <laughs> 
this point. How, how do you do on edibles? Like, do you know your tolerance on edibles or what? Yeah, I could. Yes. Like, so you could probably eat like five more bars. Uh, not five, but close. They get um, dangerous, dude. Well, they make that shit too that. good. You fucking start snacking on them, then you get hella high. Then you snack on them some more. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the, what the happens, gummies were that right? way, dude. Next thing you know, you pound a whole fucking jar yeah. of gummies. Five yeah. hours later, yeah, when you get the munchies, still smoking weed, you smoke still smoking it. weed, exactly. And the chocolate's good, dude. But... It always hits me like twelve hours later, and I wake up fucking just high out of my mind. Lando, like, though, hot. I do want to report. I did eat um this mushroom bar that i got and i don't even oh know. let's hear it i don't want to tell you where i got it from but i got it and um you got it, from it. It. it was supposed to be tasting like orange sherbet or something like that and um was it horrible i had Remember? to uh i had to go brush my teeth because i had all this foul mushroom goo in my <laughs> mouth it was rough. I mean, I did. I wanted to throw up a little bit, but I didn't. Liar. And then I couldn't even get my friends that I was with to eat anymore because they were so upset. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this is a interesting story, Steve. Yeah. How much of it did you eat? Well, we might do them again. We'll see. I How mean, much did you eat? Merrifield comes through from time to time. Maybe I'll give some to him. We'll see. How much did you eat? Just a little bit. Like a like like one square. A couple or of squares. Just a pinch between his cheek and gum. Oh, so you Co- ate a couple, couple squares? squares. So three quarters of a bar, half a bar. I'll eat a bar. What's wrong with you know? I mean, how many <laughs> bars do you eat? Um, I just dude one bar. <laughs> one bar. Oh, maybe yeah. I ate too much. Well, how'd it go? <sighs> I mean, I saw something. Something happened. I mean, I feel like there was a math problem <laughs> on the back of my garage door when I woke up the next day, so I feel like that's good. So news. you wrote it, all, wrote it all out? And tried to yeah, it's out. in permanent Sharpie that I used to mark wood with, so it's not going anywhere. Is it possible you repeated yourself over and over and over again? Well, I mean, sometimes I do that. Yeah, I know. I know. It's foreshadowing, ladies hey, and gentlemen. Um, what is uh, your take on the day pipe, Lando, from Hamilton Devices? These people have been so great hooking us up. This thing. Every time I see you hit it, I feel like you're putting on lipstick. This thing should last me all day, and I cannot quit fucking with it. Not only is it I mean, fun to play with, clickety click click. Uh, smoke that shit. Hell yeah. Yeah, there's a fresh one right there. That's all you do is turn it, and then you got another. You know what this would be good for, but I still would probably use it is like um tubing. Or ca- canoeing. If you was Backpacking. going all day, and then you're just like, but you moderated because you're also drinking. I mean, I mean when, I'm, when I'm hanging out, I'm with up you here guys, at the space station, and I got one here too. You can't have fire in space, but we try. What do you got? What do you got? Oh yeah, PS One. My, it's in the other. Side I just wrote my show. review for that. <clears throat> fucking love that thing i hope it was good i mean i literally yeah, man, that thing is really time. cool that's my favorite i actually switched my heads over to dab heads that's why i don't have it on the table right now because i have it over with all the dab juice and i just been doing dabs out of it because i love it. it's got the water it's got the bubbler it cleans it up Fucking yeah, I that. I just use it for the carts, dude. Yeah, sometimes oh, you I run do. out of carts. I mean, sometimes first world problems. But you have dabs. I always got dabs. I know. I'm just saying these are things that happen. 
So. All right. Um, I'm gonna smoke again out of my day pipe, and uh, I still have a fucking shitload left in this, and I've been ripping through hits one after another. So, you know what? Can I you might time get... it like every couple minutes. Like, well, just take Lindo, hit? I was just thinking I might get so fucked up I pass out and then <laughs> smoke later, and it actually does last me the day. And then we I should play a game of like. Every time somebody says a certain word that Steve has to take a hit. But it's got to be like a unique word that you have to like try and figure out. How to I'm not right. Maybe I'm high. Steve Genuity. Yeah, Steve go. Genuity. I was working on some stuff the other day and I had to use some Steve Genuity to put it together. Yeah, it's like. Hit that shit. Come on, go. Wait, it's like. No, hit it. I said it. It's like ingenuity, <laughs> but Steve's ingenuity. You just said it now, so you got to hit it again. Yeah. That's two. That's not. You it's like that's it. like card game rules. You already started it. <laughs> okay, I already smoked that hole. And it's fucking metal suit. Hey, I, bang it. Jay's honestly. got something to say. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, we we are almost yeah, actually out of time. So we're gonna get to the Jay. Let's get everybody in here. Do we have well, Josh? Well, hold on. Yeah, I was just gonna say let's. Oh uh, we'll God. get to the we round table in just. Yeah. Jay, take and bake. Josh, Jake, and bake. It's the Josh, take and bake. Going back a hundred years to now, hear what we talked about. Wait, producer well, Mike. I, just, uh, God just, damn it, I've got uh, a new song, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is why you've never seen the songwriter side of me, because I get moody. I get, you know, emotional when the ideas come. Going back a hundred years for the take and bake. Jay. Take. I, I actually, on top of it, on top of being a drummer, I didn't know how to put sentences together, compose things. So, I uh, definitely going to be working on that. Be working on some lyrics. You are a stenographer. <laughs> C, C. Uh, um, JT's T and B. Uh, let's get into <laughs> it. Personally, the Facebook shit. That is just. As soon as I seen that on the TV, I was like, those yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah. It's like, I all mean, I've got enough money do. to last me until September 28th, 9th, something like that. I'm good until then. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. That's bullshit. Uh, you mentioned something about uh, strip club food or. Uh, Something like that, like the, one of the little like vendor guys out there. The Kitos. Yes. Whenever I was in uh, El Paso at Fort Bliss, the they had like a burrito shack, and man, you talk about the best fucking burritos you've ever had in your life. And I mean, you know, at that point you're drunk as hell off, and you know you just seen a bunch of titties and ass, Fuck and you can't titties. touch them. You know, and uh, what so is like, um, <coughs> producer Mike? Are you on a uh, breath ventilator? Am I, I feel like I hear ventilator? Star Wars in the background. <laughs> is there one of our guests? Do one of our guests using <laughs> a CPAP machine? I. I do hear that. I do. I, I, hey, okay, Josh, are ahead. you underneath? Are you underneath a ceiling fan, per chance? Actually, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. son or, of a producer, Mike, the detective. Bitch. Yeah, Steve's got to take a tote. <laughs> hey, what are you using? Because you have lots of Hamilton devices. That's right. I do. I am. Yeah, we double barrel it with some diamonds and sauce. That's okay. my thing. Wait, which one is it? I didn't see it. Oh, it's okay, the... yeah, now I see it. Yeah, yeah. I've been... Got some diamond sauce in here, so... 
That's Diamonds what I've been and sauce with my friend JT from a hundred years ago. Fuck, I'm on a roll today. I don't even yeah, know why. I'm writing this all down for you, buddy. Okay, good. Uh, five minute warning. Oh. Suck dicks in hell. Really, douchebag? You're an idiot. And I, I, I saw where producer Mike posted a, a little picture that mentioned a, a new poll. Mm, a poll that, in his butt. Sleep. <laughs> and I, I wrote down. in Poll up notes, in yeah. my butt on a weekend. I'm nobody's like, going to know. Nobody's going to care. I stick stuff in my butt on a weekend. That is going to be the single. No one hey, Mark, knows. Mark just got back no to me. No one cares. Okay, go ahead, sorry. I thought we were talking about producer Mike stuck something in his butt. I hope what? not. Nope, nope. What? Okay, go ahead. I got distracted. I uh, <laughs> we'll have to go back and listen to the tape, but you said that. Uh... I've done about nine bong rips within the last. Oh my God! We're minutes. in the same. It shows. Place. It shows, Josh. Yeah. It really does show. Fucking. Thanks. You know, Josh. I wish you would use some steam tenuity and just really start ripping it harder. Yeah, yeah. You and need uh, Steve, you need to. You know, there. some good, some good Steve genuity. Look, two. Coming back, Josh. That was a great T and B. Oh, 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 oh. Sometimes a little Steve genuity can go a long Steve. way. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we crazy. have everybody back a in the room. Steve Steve all of our Steve favorite Steve regulars, Steve Eddie Steve Weber. Away. Oh, there's four. Fucking Lando Smiles. Jay Marigay Gigo. Ah, Wheelchair Rick. Fucking Buckland and Jennifer joining us. Oh my and Steve, we have uh, we do have a new friend too that oh just God. got in under the wire. This oh is Rat Man. I thought it was gonna be a, a somebody with titties. In the white. God, I thought it was gonna be somebody with titties. I like so your fucking Steve. new dude. Uh, oh, what's up, man? I mean. We were leaving, and I mean, if you would have had like a vagina or something like that, maybe, but what? <laughs> okay, listen, Obi Wan, what do you want? <laughs> His audio is still connecting, Steve. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh. That was probably hey, a bit secret. aggressive. Secret <laughs> cool. Rat man came in and got the wrong side of the comb. Uh, <laughs> listen, fuck future Mark school. Oh. Fuck Mark Zuckerberg. Hey, yeah, fuck Mark him. just fuck called me a few minutes right. ago. He's a client of mine. We'll try and fix this for you. Okay. Fuck Mark Zuckerberg. Fuck Mike We were smoking Zuckerberg. DMT the other day, and we're going to talk about it. Oh, shit. Uh, are you in? Are you? Do you, did you join us? Because we we're just getting the. No, it's turn it off and turn it on, bro. No, it's connecting it's, uh, the audio. It's Listen, this account. guy's. Yeah, I don't like this, Professor Mike. He's a future school shooter. Let's I, wrap this I up. Know. Oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> I, it's it's the pro account is trying dark. real hard. It's trying real hard. Oh, oh man, it's just god. fucking. Yeah. This, just is going going this is definitely going to be Domitan and Manamata. Who said that word? Even Ratman. I don't know you yet, but you're probably pretty cool. I think. Listen, that bro is my fucking cellmate. Don't even talk to uh, him about Fuck. that. <laughs> I need, we need Fuck to play dominoes together. Twitter, that motherfucker makes me toast whenever I want. <laughs> Real deal. All right. Is he, let me know if he comes in, but we I are winding it. We're getting down to it. Well, I'll, say goodbye to him last. I, I, well, I said goodbye yeah. to everybody because I love everybody. Oh, let's do it one more time. This is my fucking time. family. I got we'll fucking Lando more. Smiles, the fucking JT with the TB. Uh, fucking <laughs> Jay Marege. See you guys. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Race car driver Eddie Weber. Oh, uh, fucking wheelchair. 
You're an idiot. The colonel. Fucking colonel. <laughs> Buckley! My one and only brother from another mother. Why isn't that a country song, fucking sober dudes? My one and only brother from another mother is Buckland. And our mute What's friend, up? Ratman. Oh my God. Round and round. <laughs> my love will take a back at the do do do. What's up, buddy? Is your fucking mic work? I'm in double time now. Nothing? Yeah. That's it. It's done. Okay, producer Mike. Well, I liked seeing that guy. Oh. I got high. He was fucked up. Um. Yep. I hear you. You can <laughs> be right there where producer Mike is and all the rest who have joined us today. That was awesome. We did a lot today. We've gone long now. Since we've gotten our accounting taken care of, we've been able to extend, and then we get to take voicemails and uh, give everybody proper respect, not Mm -hmm. hang up on people, and then uh, you get to come in at the end and say ugly things about people after they've gone away. I try not to say ugly things. I try to say things that will build character in uh, in other individuals so it's i'm a giver i'm a giver i don't know but i feel much better the medication i took uh, you guys saw dude i am feeling no pain right now what what do you feel (laughs) i feel incredible Um, I'm still cold as shit, and I'm going to go to bed right after this. Oh, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you get real fucked up on edibles, I've heard that it will chill you down, like, temperature-wise. Oh, I've been cold all day. Well, I've been cold since last night. Oh, I, so do you have... Started. You don't I have air raids? We did that? No, I haven't really... You know, because people... I try to stay away from them as much as possible, so I haven't really ran into anybody. If you give so it I to think, me right now, I'll fucking kill you. Could you imagine if the pro account allows you to do that? Give like a <laughs> biological warfare right through a fucking video call? That'd be okay, one more hit out All of right. the. Uh, I don't even a- know. Let's see. One, two, three, four. I'll do the PS1 uh, with you. Five. I, if I just keep turning it, I could count it endlessly, but I did do all the bottom rows. Okay, one top row. Okay, so yeah, I got more on the gun. I got another one. Boom. Right Dude, there. you ready? Oh, you're going to do a uh, PS1? These are PS1 both. Uh, thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Again, not sponsors. We haven't gotten any money from them or anything like that. No, just a lot of cool uh, fucking I would appreciate them. some, by all means, Hamilton, send us some money. I'm yeah. sure we've sold a few devices. We definitely would like to direct you their way. They're fucking cool people. They hooked us up. They're hooking you up with 15% off if you use Jessup as a promo code. And you can get a day pipe. One of these right here. I don't even know what this costs, producer Mike. It's going to be, I tell you what, it's going to be very, very much worth the value. I'll tell you that. And plus with the 15% off. That's, oh my that's god, crazy. I love it because it looks like a big cigar. Oh yeah, PS1. Thank you, Hamilton. That's in the description if you can't remember it along with the link. Podcasts are on Tuesdays at 4.20 a.m. Um, maybe uh, we'll get this Facebook thing figured out, but you know, probably what happened, producer Mike, is some uh, upset Karen turned me <laughs> in, and it was like he's got a fucking stripper puking on with raw titties on his face. That was, I mean, minus the puke, the titties in my face were one of the best parts of that day. One hundred percent jealousy. 
Maybe 100%. those Karens are jealous. Some Karen turned me in on Facebook. I don't like this showing up in my feed. There's this asshole at the strip club. There's literally people out there that's all they fucking do is is really ruin everyone else's parade. Parade nope. ruiners. They don't know how to just shut it off. Oh, man. God bless you. I love the people that watch all the way to this point. Do you yes. ever think about that, producer Mike? I mean, because a lot of people just watch for a second and, then, and live, because we're live, and then tune out. And then some people, a lot, I'm like this, obsessively have to watch till the very last, till they know it's done. Well, I wait until I want to know what the song is going to be because you don't tell yeah, me. And I have then, no idea what the song is going to be at the end, so I always stick around for that. Some, and plus, Steve, the second thing, you, you heard the voicemails earlier on the top of the show. Yeah. They these are those are podcasters listeners. So those, those are podcasts folks, and weekly thank you listeners. Oh, yeah, two two five eight hundred thirty one seventy five. Give us a call. We'll play your call. Yeah, thank you, thank you guys. Yeah. And I hope that girl heard her message from what was the girl from New York? One more. Her time. name was Savannah. I'm not going to forget hey, that. Steve. Me and my husband, we absolutely love you. My husband watches you all the time. And yeah. you should just give him a shout-out, Anthony Hawthorne. Anthony Hawthorne, this episode's dedicated to you, homie. Uh, Go get him, yeah. Congressman. I mean, maybe he is. All right. I'm going to see you next Friday. I look forward to seeing you. I look forward to seeing you, Buckland, everybody else, producer Mike. I, I mean, it's like... It makes me think this might be the future where uh, virtual hangs become so good you start to go, man, I'm going to see my friends on Friday at 420 on Steve's channel. We're going to fucking hang out. We're going to drink together. We're going to smoke together. We're going to talk shit. Buckland's going to reveal a CIA uh, secret. It's going to be great. <laughs> ah, I love it Join me next Friday Same place I got shit to do We're taking it out with Monty and Cammy. Oh, I was hoping it would be that one Yeah Good luck fooling him He knows his rights uh -huh. Can women a whiskey Worth the fight uh. So listen quickly when you get the cue Cause uh. oh Steve Jez I've got shit to do Uh